All right, let's look at how to make the cotton and Vaseline. You know, we hear this all the time in a lot of magazines, books, videos say that, uh, you know, you got to have cotton Vaseline balls with you, but nobody ever shows you actually how to make them. It's a big question that uh, as I do all my traveling all over the U.S. and teaching and seminars that people are always asking me this. So I'm going to show you how I do it. All right. I'm going to take a piece of aluminum foil. Just rip a little piece off of there, rip it in half. It's close enough, it's good enough. It doesn't need to be perfect, all right? Just make yourself a square. Big thing that I want you to know is that cotton comes in different types. They have cosmetic cotton, first aid cotton, and I really want you to read the label here. It has to say 100% cotton. Typically, if it's first aid cotton, it'll come in a cardboard box, and it's gonna say highly flammable on it. Most of the cosmetic cotton is treated with chemicals, and guess what it says? Non-flammable. So the very first thing I need you to do is buy 100% uh, cotton balls that are flammable. That's the whole purpose here is for fire starters, <laughs> all right? So let's take a couple of these out. We're going to take two of them. Take a wad of Vaseline. Kind of tear them apart a little bit. Mix that Vaseline, get all these fibers soaked in here. All right, we really want that Vaseline on all these different fibers. On the outside of this Vaseline, it says petroleum jelly. Petroleum is gasoline, all right? Very important that you understand that, and I hope that for all the ladies watching this, you are not putting this Vaseline on your face to get rid of your makeup. The reason it takes makeup off, all the oil-based makeups off so quickly is because it's gasoline. Don't put it on your face, it's going straight into your brain, okay? Use olive oil, find an alternative product. All right, so here I've got this big glob of cotton. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a half of a cotton ball so it'll really catch my spark. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. I'm gonna put the, the, uh, the cotton soaked in the Vaseline right in here. I'm gonna fold it like a taco or a burrito. Okay, I'm going to fold it this way, I'm going to fold it that way, I'm going to fold it right in here and on top. So I have multiple layers this way. If I turn it over, there's only one layer now of aluminum foil. I'm going to take my thumb and just work myself around this edge. I get this big old mushroom. All right, and this is our fire starter. I've got a little napkin here. Let me get that Vaseline off my hands. All right, these things weigh almost nothing. You could put 10 of these in your backpack, uh, you know, for, for still less than an ounce. What we do here is that we get our knife out, we're gonna cut a little X in the top of this, and all it is is basically a candle wick. Go ahead and pull this out a little bit. How much fire do you need? And that's what's gonna catch our spark. What I like about these is that if you continue just to pull this out a little bit at a time, this will burn for about the next 30 to 45 minutes. This two little cotton balls, all right? Outstanding way for you to dry out tender. Um, you know, once you use the cotton ball, I always just put the fire out, and I may reuse this cotton ball 100 times at one show. That's how many fires that you can just get out of this. If you're burning it for, you know, 15, 20 seconds at a time, uh, you can get a ton of fires out of just one two cent cotton ball item. All right, so uh, now you know, add this to your fire kit.